Hi and welcome to this free CAD quickie. In this free CAD quickie I want to show you how to create a mirror of an object through the exact center of a, of a primitive so that it appears on either end. Um, and what you want to think of is if you look through them into the mirror you'll see that it's a, a mirror ob, uh, exact opposite. And this is your mirror plane. So those are terms that are important. Um, what I'm doing right here is I'm editing the mirror and you can move the mirror plane although I find it really confusing to do to do it with this this tool. Um, so I'm going to delete this and we're going to start over. I oops and this is a confusing thing here to, to remember is always you finish editing. So I'm going to delete this mirror and we're going to start over. So I'm going to reposition the, uh, the view to the top and I'm going to set the working plane to top. So you're going to see the working the default working plane at top centers at zero zero in our global um, in our global global position um, but we want it at the center of this this uh, cylinder so I'm going to select the cylinder and I'm going to select the work plane tool and you see now our grid is at the center and that's just so we can use it as a guide it doesn't affect the mirror plane where where the working plane is the mirror plane is based on the view so if you think of it as a 2d surface we're going to draw a mirror plane down the middle and it'll be perpendicular to the view. Uh, that's really important to keep in mind and, and not obvious. So if I select the object I want to mirror and I select the mirror tool, I'm going to draw a line right down the middle using the grid snapping to get it right just right. So this is your grid snap tool. And you see I've gotten my mirror exactly where I want it. Now to show you how, so without changing anything, I'm just going to rotate my view a little bit. I'm going to do the exact same operation. And you'll see that it mirrors on the view, not on the not on the working plane. And you'll see that it's going to be off. Yeah. So to to demonstrate that, let's look at the correct one. We'll edit this mirror plane. You see that's where the mirror plane ended. If you look in the mirror, there it is. So now if and I guess they may have done it the view is by the view because it's a mirror. So we'll do finish editing, and now I'll edit this mirror plane. And you see that's where it, that's where it ended up because that's was perpendicular to my view at the time. So, but now if we look in that mirror, if we can, so that it's perfectly mirrored. So the mirror makes sense, but um, it doesn't feel in, feel quite intuitive at first until you start to understand what it is. But um, and you know the other problem is with the view, it's hard to get um, it's hard to understand the exact measurements of your view. So just if you always work thinking of it as two D and make sure your view is matching your working plane, uh, I think it'll be a lot easier to deal with. So I hope that helps uh, under, help clarify mirror some more. I've talked about it a little bit before, but I felt like this example was uh, fairly concise. So if you like these quickies, make sure you like them so that YouTube knows to share them with other people. And subscribe if you want to see more, and make sure you um, also share them as well. Uh, thanks.